tough fight on paper, there's no doubt about that. It's a fight that all the fans, all boxing fans, and all the boxing want to see. And it's been a, long, a few days away from it now. Um, that went at the Millennium Stadium. One o'clock in the morning. We're going to find out who is the best super middleweight in the world. And I think, find out who's the best using this title that we use these days. Who's the best pound for pound fighter in the world? Because pound for pound, I don't know how, how people look at that. It's you know, if this guy weighed this much, he would be. Would he be a world away? Would a featherweight be giving the weight away? Uh, be a bantamweight and so forth. These guys are natural super middleweights. They're the best. There's a, obviously a case for both of them. There's a lot of people here who believe, who believe that Mikel's going to win the fight. There's people here who think that Joe's going to win the fight, including myself. Um, I know Joe Cathy, I've been in for a promoter and as a manager, but also as a friend. I've been there with him when he's had his ups and downs. I've been there when he's had his couple of bad nights. I've been there when he's, he's looked brilliantly explosive, explosive. And I've been there before every fight and seen his man mannerisms and how he is before a fight. And I can tell you now, I have never seen him so confident and so relaxed. It's not promotional hype, we don't need to do it. Just there. I know this guy here believes that he's going to win this fight. More so than any fight I've been in the whole group. You know, uh, the Lacey fight, he was very confident. But this one, it just, to me, he feels and it seems like it's his destiny to win it. Um, to make this fight happen, we've made that to do a lot of things. Obviously, money is a, a big part of the negotiations, and between the team is. Father and Mogan and myself, we both so also like to thank other people that helped to make this happen. Kerry Davis from HP Home and his colleagues, they stepped up to the plate. What has been said in the press that they insisted this fight go on at one o'clock in the morning is absolute rubbish. I insisted it went at one o'clock in the morning. The reason I did that is because we hit the time difference of four hours between US time and British time, European time at the moment that meant that the winner of this fight would get maximum exposure on prime time US TV. You can't buy that. It was a commercial decision that I made. It wasn't forced into it. They were buying the fight on a delayed basis to show, so they put it on. Satanta, without Satanta, it would not have happened. They really stepped up to the plate. Um, Trevor East and all he can there, we we're really uh, grateful for all that they've done to help as sponsors. Um, the Sun, who get behind all of the shows, uh, big in boxing as we all know, and we'll thank them. We also got obviously the Millennium Mal Mal Stadium, who've bent over backwards to help us. Uh, Real Radio, the local radio station over here, they pump this fight out continuously. Radio 5 have done the same thing, BBC Radio 5. We're grateful for all of you to help me to make this promotion such a great success. We're going to have nearly 50,000 people there on the night. 
the biggest ever indoor event that takes place in Europe, boxing event. That's huge numbers, huge numbers. Um, and they're in for a real, a real treat, no, there's no doubt about it. The doors will open at 8pm. The first fight will commence at 8.15. After 10.30, no public will be admitted. So you, you, you're not there at 10.30, you're not going to get in the door whether you've got a ticket or not. We're not having that. Uh, people may have had a, a nice celebration coming in a bit boozy. It's 10.30, that's it, all the show. Enzo McInelly and Abby Spy with their dinner with around 12 o'clock, and then obviously we've got Joe and Mikhail will be on around 1.15. The weigh-in is tomorrow, to, uh, the 2nd of November. It's open to the public, it's at St David's Hall, and that will be at 2 o'clock. Um, the referees and judges, the referee for the fight is Mark, Mark Mike Ortega from Connecticut, USA, Raul Coes from California, USA, John Stewart from Pennsylvania, USA, and Massimino Barabaccio from Rome, Italy. They are the officials. Supervisors are PO supervisor John Duggan. The PA supervisor is Renzo Bagnarelio. And the WBC supervisor is Bob Logis. Um, again, I'd like to thank the Board of Control, Simon Block, um, Lord Brooks from Tremor Field Game, who always does his best for world boxing and British boxing, and also Robert Smith for all the help they, they've given us to me. So we come to the fight now. We've got a fight, as I said, which is, a, for me, I, I think it's one of the best fights that I've ever been involved with. I really do feel this is going to be a super fight. I think we're going to see the, set, the best of both boxers. Um, they can't do anything less than do their best. Um, I know that for the last two weeks there's been some rumours flying around regarding Mikel that he's got hand problems. I don't know whether that's true or not. He's been locked up for two weeks in the gym, kept away from the public. He'd better have two good hands, because with two good hands, he's going to find it hard to beat with Joe Kawasaki. With one good hand, he may as well not show up. So I hope that he's got good hands, because this is going to be, I'm telling you, Joe Kawasaki's name. I'm sure you've got lots of questions to ask. So please go ahead and do so.